We're excited to welcome you back to the Eugene and Marilyn Glick Indiana History Center. As you prepare to return to the building, we want to let you know about some of the safety measures we put in place to keep our visitors, volunteers, and staff safe during this time. We're going to be following CDC and the Indiana Department of Health rec recommendations for how to keep everybody safe and secure while they're in the building. The first thing we want you to remember is that advanced tickets will be required. You can get your ticket by going online to indianahistory.org and clicking on the visit tab. If you're a member, you'll still get your free admission. Just click on the member ticket option and be prepared to show proper ID. Before you arrive, please make sure you take a self health assessment and make sure that you're free of any COVID-19 symptoms. When you come to the Indiana History Center, be sure to park in our parking lot and you can enter in through the New York and Ohio Street entrances. Upon entering the building, all staff and visitors will be required to wear a cloth face covering or mask. There's directional signage throughout the building that helps you know where to go and be sure to maintain proper social distancing. There are decals on the floors to help you do that. And finally, we've installed barriers in the Welcome Center, the Basile History Market, and the William Henry Smith Memorial Library in order to allow for proper separation between our visitors and staff. Just bring your ticket to the Welcome Center, hand it to the associate, and they'll give you your wristband and map, and you'll be on your way. Thank you. Additional hand sanitizing stations, sponsored by Hotel Tango, have been added throughout the building for your convenience. Some restroom stalls and sinks have been closed in order to maintain proper social distancing, and some water fountains have been shut off for the health and safety of our visitors. Social distancing will be required at all times, so please be considerate of others when you're in tight spaces. We encourage you to take the stairs while you're in the building to go down to the canal or up to the second floor. If you choose to take the elevator, we are going to limit it to one individual or family per ride. A majority of our exhibits will be open, including our very popular You Are There experiences. All of our spaces will have maximum capacity, and staff will be monitoring those spaces to make sure that the limits are respected. You may be asked to come back at a later time if the space is full. All of our actors will be wearing masks, and we've put markers on the ground to help you ensure proper social distancing between yourself, the actors, and the other guests in the exhibit. The William Henry Smith Memorial Library will be available to researchers. The reference room is available to everyone during normal hours, subject to capacity. For those who wish to take out collections, an appointment is going to be necessary. Please contact the reference desk to reserve a time. We're excited that the Stardust Terrace Cafe will be open and operated by our new partner, Jonathan Birds. Both indoor and outdoor seating will be available and configured for social distancing. My preference is to have a Gouda roast turkey sandwich here on the canal. Thank you, Jody. Thank you. And our hours are Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. with plans to adjust hours in the future. At the conclusion of your visit, we ask you to head back to the Welcome Center and exit through the Basile History Market. As we move forward, the IHS will continue to adjust based on best practices as well as government and health professionals' recommendations. We're eager to begin sharing Indiana's history in person with you again, and we look forward to seeing you. For additional information on steps we're taking to ensure a safe environment for all, please visit indianahistory.org forward slash reopening.